yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do, where you at, who you with You ain't really about this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it, if we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this, no we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on roll, came from Yo, what is good, J.I. Squad, and welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. I'm back at it again in the J.I. HQ with another banger video for you guys, man. So, as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of this video, we're going to be talking about Vader and what you guys can expect this upcoming race season so let's just go ahead and get straight into it right, you guys for those of you guys that are new and haven't been in the loop with every single video i'm gonna give you a quick rundown of what this car's current setup is and then we'll go ahead and answer the question that i've been asked so many times in my dms so basically this is a 2021 camaro ss1 le it is the 10 speed automatic and currently I am running the LT2 intake manifold. It is non-ported to my stock throttle body, which is also non-ported. The Rotofab cold air intake. I'm running one and seven eighth speed engineering long tube headers. You can't really see them, but they're down there. And the an E85 flex fuel sensor. The car is tuned for full E85, not an E30 or E50 mix. It is a full E85 car. Um, and the exhaust is basically a stock X pipe, three inch mid pipe, and then the AWE track axle back exhaust in the rear. Shout out AWE for the sponsorship. Love you guys to death. Anyway, um, basically that is pretty much it. The car is really, 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 really simple. It's just a bolt on setup as I just told you guys. Now, to answer you guys this question, I've been getting this a ton a ton a ton in the dms will i be switching to the holly high ram intake manifold no i am not but i will be keeping my lt2 intake manifold now as i mentioned earlier the intake manifold currently is not ported will i be porting it yes i am going to be porting my lt2 intake manifold and i'm also going to be porting the throttle body now as far as switching to the holly high ram i'm just not going to do it and there's a couple reasons why but the main reason is the car loves this intake manifold especially my car i can't speak for anybody else i can only speak for my build I love the low end power that I get and I also love the high end power. Do I want to get more out of it? Yes. And can I get more out of it? Yes. All I need to do is port the intake manifold. Now, like I mentioned earlier in the beginning when I gave you guys the rundown of the setup, it is not ported and I still have my stock throttle body, which is also not ported. So this racing season, um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to port my intake manifold and I'm thinking about upgrading from the stock intake manifold, which I believe is a 93 millimeter, don't quote me, to a 103 millimeter um, throttle body by K-Tech or Caltech, however you say it, I'm not 100% sure, but that is what I've got my eyes on so far. It's either I will be porting the throttle body or I'll be switching to the K-Tech throttle body. Getting into what you guys can expect for this racing season. The car, you know, well, if you guys have been in the loop and been following the build, and you know I recently switched tuners, my first tuner was trash. I don't know what he did to the car, but he didn't tune it, okay? The tune that was on the car was terrible. The car ran like crap, and it was getting beat by cars that it should not be getting beat by, which made no sense. Like, literally, stock cars was beating this car that was a bolt-on car, and it was gutted. So... Yeah, on E85 too. Like I said, not a mix, full E85, 100%. But yeah, man, with that being said, um, I ended up switching to NRG. Huge shout out to NRG. Brandon and Christian over there took care of the kid. They treated me like you would expect to be treated when you're spending your money at somebody's establishment. And at the end of the day, 
it wasn't even just the fact that they treated me how they did. It was also the work speaking for itself. Literally, when they tuned the car, it became a completely different monster. This thing, like, it was like a night and day difference, legit, on 93 and E85. The best time that this car did was an 11.7, if I'm not mistaken, in the quarter mile. And, you know, honestly, people may say you can go faster. People may say that's a bad time. Some people say it's a good time. Honestly, me personally, I feel like the car did great for what it is. Again, there is so much more room for growth. And there's so many more things that I can do to this car to get it to go 10 seconds, to get it to go 9 seconds, and then eventually, eventually, one day, get it to go 8 seconds. Don't mind that I got two different color socks on, okay? I'm at the Anyway, as y'all can see, I need tires like bad, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's bad. The drag pack has, has seen way better days. If you guys didn't see the gender reveal video before I did that burnout and I did like a tester burnout type just to fill her out, I'll go ahead and insert the clip right now. But yeah, as you guys can see, I definitely roasted these and they are completely bald. And I know that I'm not gonna get any traction with these down the drag strip at all. This one, I might be able to squeeze a couple more miles out of. It's got like a little bit of a groove, but this one is just a flat surface. So yeah, this one's gotta go for sure. Also, I am gonna be switching from the Mickey Thompson's the street SS's, I've heard that these are literally roll tires. These are not dig tires. So I'm gonna be switching from Mickey's to some Hoosiers. I'm not 100% sure what style or what model, whatever. I'm still new to this. So y'all let me know in the comment section down below what drag pack tires you guys are running at the track, man, that you guys have found to be sticky. Let me know, man. I'm trying to just get the best tire possible. I also want to get some front runners for Vader right now. I'm still running the stock 1LE wheels at the track in the front. And they're about 30 to 40 pounds each. So, yeah, I could definitely shed a lot of rotational weight um, up front and help, you know, get those trap speeds higher. So, all that being said, man, I just wanted to let you guys know vader this year is about to be turned up i'm about to turn this car up a whole notch i'm not gonna lie we got a lot of carbon fiber coming to kind of take away some of that weight that these cars have as you guys already seen we got the carbon fiber trunk back there and i also may or may not have something coming here very very soon um to replace another body piece so with that being said y'all y'all make sure y'all do your kid a favor hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications also please 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 drop in the comment section down below what tires you guys are running at the track i'm trying to upgrade my tires to get a little bit more of a stickier tire so that it'll help me out off the line because i still spin those a little bit off the line and I feel like if I could get more of a grippier tire it'll help me out a lot 60 foot getting out of that hole down the pass a lot faster so all that being said man that's gonna wrap it up for today's video if you're new to the channel man hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications get this video a big thumbs up if you're ready to see what 2023 has to hold for me and Vader and uh, let's go ahead and roll that outro I'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace